Well, first jobs are almost never glamorous. I was bussing tables, bar mats, you know, the restaurants. Oh, yeah. So. My first job, I was at Sears. Dated reference there. But you and I know being passionate about your first job is even less common. And I met one teenager in St. Albans who took his beloved pastime and turned it into a business. Reborn Antiques in St. Albans isn't your typical antique shop. When I think of someone purchasing an item and taking it, it's kind of like they're wiping the dust off of it, giving it like a rebirth in their home. And that's because the owner isn't your typical entrepreneur. I am 16. Meet Cooper O'Connell. He's a junior at BFA St. Albans and a busy one at that. I volunteer coach at our local rec department. I'm the co-editor of our school paper. I'm part of the Interact Club at school. And on the weekends, he runs his very own antique shop. He does everything from sourcing these treasures at estate sales and auctions. Really, I'm looking for a unique item in good condition, that, especially mid-century modern items because those are very in at the moment. To making sales. He says he loves the rich history and unique nature of each piece, but the attachment to heirlooms seems to run in the family. My grandmother was really, really into antiques, and so I developed a passion through my grandmother for antiques. The passion might have come from grandma, but the wisdom and wit to run this business is something Cooper's worked hard for. Balancing school, extracurriculars, work, and just being 16, he built this business from the bottom up. I was curating so many items on my own from exchanging items. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, I can't just keep all these items. He started selling his own collection of curios online out of a garage. But at the end of November, he moved into his very own official space, chock full of his favorite collector's items. So these are old issues of Harper's Bazaar magazine. This one right here is from October 24th, 1891. He might be young, but he's awfully knowledgeable about all things old. It is an 1820 secretary desk. This birch, cherry, and bird's eye maple. That's what that veneer is right here. Citing hours and hours of research. A Fenton vase. You can typically notice if it's Fenton by the ruffled top. It's safe to say running your own business is a little more involved than bagging groceries like other teens might do. But Cooper doesn't seem to mind. My first job was at a go-kart track, getting paid minimum wage, working in the 95 degree heat. So I would definitely say this is a step up for me. While he relishes these relics, Cooper has his eye on medical school. But he says he's planning to keep an antique shop open on the side if conditions allow which means the everlasting question, do I want to keep it for myself or sell it, isn't going anywhere anytime soon.